Hello and welcome this is Ashkul Rafi and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add content heading table on your blog post so that your readers will find a blog content table just like this one and they are going to be able to navigate any section of your blog post easily so it helps for long blog post and also it helps for your SEO factor as well so let me show you one example here as you can see here I'm on blog content and now I want to navigate or visit this part of this blog content so I'm going to click here it is going to take me to this page in one single click now if I go back here and now if I want to visit the seventh para so I'm going to click here and it's going to take me here all right so this is how this tool works and this is really helpful for your readers experience and it also helps you for your SEO factors so now I'm going to show you how to set this table on your WordPress website easily first of all sign into your WordPress dashboard and after that go to plugins and click on add new as we are going to add a new plugin to activate the table of contents after that let's make a search here easy table of contents and hit enter and it is going to show you some of the plugins for making tables on your blog post but I'm going to use this one as I mostly use this plugin so let's click here on install and after that we have to activate by clicking on this activate button so now here we are on the plugins option as you can see we have got easy table of contents you will be able to set up the plugin by clicking here on this settings option or you are going to find the settings option from here settings and then table of contents so let's click here by default you are going to see these settings as you can see but we are going to customize these settings so that it will look nicer on our website so let's go for it for the first section enable support we want this plugin to be activated only for the blog posts we don't want it for pages so we are going to uncheck then for the auto insert section we want auto insertion of table of contents in posts only and not in page so let's unselect then let's go a little bit down we are going to find position where you want to put your table of contents as you can see here it is selected as before first heading and this is the reason why we are seeing right after the featured image and right before the first heading okay but we have got few more options as you can see after first heading top or the bottom so most of the people and I also use before first heading which is the default selection so let's go for it or you can actually try these options as well the top thing is going to work the same way how it works for before first heading so you can actually play around with these settings no problem at all and then we have got show when four or more headings are present so now it is selected as four and whenever your blog post will have more than four headings available on your content it is going to be activated otherwise it is not going to work all right so i always keep it to two so that whenever i'll have two headings it, it should be activated and then we have got display header level so what it means by header level as you can see here this one post contents so this is the header level if you want to make it displayed you can select or it is by default selected and then you can uh, customize the header level text as well which is a good thing so i'm going to uh, type like post contents you can put whatever you want and then you have got toggle view so what it means by toggle view so as you can see we have got this option where you can click to hide this header table and then we can actually click here to view these sections as well so this is how or this is what the toggle thing works and then we have got initial view initially hide the table of content so for example whenever someone will reload or visit this page they are going to see these contents or these tables just like this but if you want to keep it always open so whenever a new reader is going to visit this blog post they should see this table of content open just like this you can simply do this you can just uncheck this one so that it will be stayed like this so i'm going to keep it unchecked 
and then we have got show as higher rich you can just keep it checked as well i am just going to keep it selected and then we have got the counter so by default it is selected to decimal and this is the reason why you are seeing the numbers one two three four but you will have few more options numeric roman or non but the most popular option is decimal and i also use decimal okay so i'm seeing one to the numberings here and then you have got smooth scroll always select this one and after that we have got white selection so as of now this is selected to 100 percent so this is the reason why i am seeing this full page selected or the full section selected but if you select auto it is going to take only this part of these of this section okay this full white it is going to take this white only the left side and the right side will be just like this background okay so i want to keep it to 100 percent and then we don't want to work on any one of these so we don't want to work on float or other things here and you can actually change the color of these background okay by default it is selected to gray but you can select light gray white black transparent or you can select a custom color so let's say you want to go with a custom color you can simply click here and then you can select the background color uh, as an example i'm going to select let's say this color and then if i just go down we don't have to work on this thing by the way okay so let's click on save change and now if i reload this page you are going to see the changes okay so after reloading i'm seeing this page or seeing this um, table of content appearing automatically i don't have to toggle here to see these um, contents so now this background is looking really odd so i'm going back here and then i'm going to make a change from background color i'm actually going to select it to gray the default one and i really like this and then i'm going to you can actually try out these features or options so now what i'm going to do i'm going back here into the bottom of the page and then let's click on save change and let's reload this page and here we go so whatever page you want to visit instead of this set up a website for affiliate marketing so one thing i'd love to mention if you want to set up a complete website if you want to set up this complete website from the scratch i'm going to attach the video link video tutorial link which you can watch and learn the process step by step from the beginning to set up this complete website for affiliate marketing so now let's say if i visit the second um, blog post you are going to see the same things here okay so people are going to see um, these table of contents appearing and they're going to be able to navigate each of these blog posts very easily and it is going to help us on search engine optimization and search engine ranking as well for some case so that was it i believe i was able to explain about this table of contents with you and you have, you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like and share this video to help your friends and please don't forget to let you let me know your opinion by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching